Lights and running water never felt better. <sighs> Day 84. Today is a huge milestone in the renovation of this house. We had our final inspection to make sure that we had everything in order for us to move in. And I was really nervous because as you can see, we still don't have the floor done, a kitchen sink, the countertops installed, paint in some places, running water to the dishwasher, trim on the windows, or shiplap to cover the island. We also still have this beast of a countertop here. We tried to move that the other day and it sounded like it was gonna start cracking on us so we decided not to attempt that with four people. But the inspector came by today, he looked at the plumbing, the electrical, the structural integrity of the things that we did in the third bedroom such as the floor and the framing, the windows, and determined everything was okay enough for us to move in here. So tomorrow we have a moving truck scheduled, we have a storage unit ready, and we have people coming over to the house to come help us pack boxes and move all of our stuff over here. Super exciting. Uh, I was still a little nervous because I wanted to get the floor done. But I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna miss having hair like this from wearing my f new favorite toy, or one of my new favorite toys. This little headlamp that I bought, it's really cool, look at this. That's if you wanna cause seizures. But anyway, uh, I really like this, this little headlamp. It could be used for so many different things. But I've been using this so much in the last couple of weeks because we haven't had any light. We did have a few people who left us some, some lamps, which helped us when we were working in different rooms. And it's a really nice light to have, but it kind of made my hair look weird all the time. So tomorrow, as you can see, we're still gonna come in. We have some cleaning we have to do. Picks, we need to pick some stuff up, move it out of here. But the most important thing was that we got the green light to go ahead and move in. Otherwise, we'd have to cancel all the things that we had planned for tomorrow. And it's a good thing we don't because Holly and I have been stupid stressed and anxious about getting this letter of occupancy and getting passed off on our inspection. So much so that we've both been sick for the last couple of days. And Holly even lost her voice today. If we wouldn't have passed today, I think both of us probably would have just broken down and cried in fetal position or something because We've been stressed to the max. Ivy, on the other hand, has been cool as a cucumber. Hi, baby. She just laughed today, huh? Hi, you baby. Hi, you little baby. Oh, it's a baby. Hi, mom. How you feeling? Uh, I'm tired. Me too. I lost my voice, so I'm not really good at talking because you can't hear me. I made all these phone calls on the phone today, and everybody's like, Are you okay? <laughs> and I'm like, Yeah. <coughs> just the stress of everything, I think, took my voice. It just, and it all compounded. Just being sick. Yes, this is our very tired, very non-stressed out now smile. So now we're going to go have a little bite to eat, or at least I am, because I haven't eaten anything since probably lunch. I'm tired. I'm and then... I'm happy. And I hope we didn't make a mistake. We hope, we hope we didn't make a mistake. Well, it's kind of late for that now, isn't it? I don't think we did. I think we made a good decision. You hate it when you push down on something. You push down and then the hairspray goes. <laughs> I've done that before and the hairspray just is like. Whoosh, and you can't get the heavy thing off to stop the hairspray spraying everywhere. It was bad. <laughs> what do you have to complain about? You need dad to hold you? This is how you know when Holly's working hard. She breaks out the treats to give herself the extra oomph that she needs to keep going. <laughs> Even when sick. Holly has been hard, hard, hard at work packing everything in the closets and everywhere else in the house. We don't even have a light up there because I took it and put it in the other house. Holly's been packing like a mad woman. And I think the kids have been helping. I haven't packed anything. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have too much to pack, so it won't take too long. Day 
Day 85, moving day. Woohoo! Woohoo! You ready to move? Yes, we are. Overalls, woman? Of course you are. You ready to move? Phone, woman? Yeah. Yeah? Yes, just give me a few more minutes on the phone and then I will be ready to move. Ivy's ready to move. She's saying yeah. Ivy's ready to move? Ivy, are you ready to move? Uh oh. Oh, baby. Bonkers. She bonked her head on this. Oh. Ivy was ready to move until she hit her head on the dresser. Mom, are you ready to move? Uh. Or are you ready to play racquetball? <laughs> yeah. I woke up this morning and he goes. Ooh, gnarly shirt. I've never seen your racquetball shirt before. <laughs> I haven't heard gnarly in a while. Gnarly, man. Is that coming back? Yes. What do you think, Kenneth? This looks a lot better than it was, dude. Holy crap. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Okay, we worked hard on it. Like 90 days worth of hard. And then some. Dude, this looks like yeah. Way, way better. Gotta get ourselves some countertops now. Day 88. We're finally in. After three days of Packing, stressing, moving, putting stuff in storage, Lexi <laughs> and her arm, <laughs> and cleaning. We are finally enclosed in this house. Phew. It has been a long, long 88 days. Possibly the longest 88 days of my life. And we, I just barely showered after probably five or six days of not showering. It's been wild. We're so appreciative of all the help we got from everybody in this house. Big, big thank you to Papa and Michelle. Tommy, Junior, Frank, our new neighbors across the street, Mr. Doug and Miss Kedron and their family, Tony and Michelle. Huge thank you to Rex and his family, Wes and his family, David, Rachel, Kobe, Bryce and Danny, Alex, Lou and his family, Kenny and his family, Devin, Jackson, Ava and Solomon, Jennifer and Jeremy and Clara and Megan, Miss Misty and Wit and their family, Renee and Aaron and their family, Brandon, Austin. And now we have the spectacular job of organizing it, putting it all away. What happened? I dropped my candy cane. My voice is still gone from being stressed out and working so hard. But the worst part is I just dropped my candy cane and the sheetrock dust and it's broken. I'll have it. And we don't have sink to wash off. You want to lick it when it has sheetrock dust on it? Sure. Where's I'll it? eat it. There you go. Ah. Sticky. This was the hardest thing that we have ever done before in our lives. We've done some hard things. Yeah. But this has by far been the hardest to do all of this at once. And we didn't really plan it that way. We didn't mean to have Ivy right during all of this, but it just kind of happened. We should have waited one more month. We should have. We could have celebrated our last Christmas in the house, then packed everything up, had time to sell everything. Because we're downsizing. So you can see, can't even walk around in here because we have too much stuff. I was too busy working on this house that I didn't have enough time to sell our furniture and decide what we were keeping or not. So we just brought it all. And we have all of our outdoor stuff in a storage unit because we don't have a garage. So we lost a garage. We lost one living area because we had like two family rooms. Um, and we also lost an outdoor covered patio. So we also have outdoor furniture and we have nowhere to go. Ah!
If you would like to see when and how this all started, I've left links to everything in the description below of all of the videos that led up to this point of us being able to move in here. And you can see all the work that it's been. Of course, now that it's over, it's easy to say that it was worth it. And we hope that it'll be worth it when we sell this house and hopefully make some money. But, ooh, I was not feeling like it was worth it the last couple of weeks for all the work and hours and hours and hours of time put in and stress. But thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Leave us a comment and tell us what your favorite part was. And if you're watching on your mobile device, be sure to turn on notifications to get notified when we come out with new videos. See you next time. Start with Ibotta. The free app that gives you cash back. Start with Ibotta. Start with coupons. Use coupons for everything.